Hi there. In this video, we are going to look at the grep command, which is a Unix command that uses what we call regular expressions to look through files and search through them for a particular keyword or a wildcard based keyword. Uh, we're not going to go into details about what regular expressions are, although I'll show, I'll show you a couple of uh, a couple of different things about them. Uh, there are many, many resources online to find out more about regular expressions and searching with grep, etc. Uh, the basic idea is that you uh, you say grep and then some pattern, which is generally in either single quotes or double quotes, depending on um, how you're doing the search, and then some uh, files that you want to search. Okay, so for instance, uh, let's look in here. I have a file called unittesting.txt, and this is available at this uh, this path on the website, uh, afs slash afs slash ir slash class class slash cs107 slash samples slash assign zero, and it is uh, a file. Basically, if we look at it, uh, it is a file that is from uh, the Wikipedia article on unit testing, uh, which um, is not a bad thing to learn anyway. Uh, but if we want to find something, so in here I notice that uh, often it says unit. So let's actually search for a unit in this file. If we type grep and then unit and then the name unit testing.txt, what it does is it lists all the lines that unit falls on. Okay? Um, and so it, uh, it's just looking for a unit itself. It doesn't really, it doesn't have to have spaces around it. It doesn't have to be a single word. It can be part of a word, etc. cetera. Uh, but if the UNIT is in there, and by the way, it's lowercase in this case, then uh, you will have, it will find it. Okay, so let's find something that it, grep for something that it won't find. Uh, grep for, uh, let's say, obtain with a, an uppercase O on here. Now I see an obtain right here, but uh, because I'm doing uppercase, oh, it will uh, not find anything. I just, it happens to be no other places in the file that have an uppercase O oh, obtain as well. Uh, so you can do searches with various wildcards. The two wildcards that we care about are the period and the asterisk. Okay, and here's, here's how they work. Okay, period matches any character, right? So if I wanted to find, uh, let's say, Let's say all words that start with T-H-E, okay? If all words that start with T-H, well, let's say all words that have T-H-E and then some character after that, okay? Then what we can do is we can say grep T-H-E period and then unit testing and it will find everywhere where it says T-H-E with something after it, okay? Um, Let's see if I can find an example of where this might, probably not, the, not necessarily the best example, but um, if we typed grep and then a dot dot, right, and then unit testing, right, it will find anything where we have a followed by any two things, any two letters, characters, whatever, okay? So uh, a and n is right there. Uh, let's look for uh, let's look for something that is a little bit more interesting, maybe something like, oh, I don't know, OF period, right? So grep OF period, we'll do OF period period, okay, and then unit testing. That will do OF and then two characters of anything else. So we'll find all the ofs in here, but it will also, fi also find often, it will also find um, anywhere else where it starts with, or it has two period, two anythings after the OF. Okay. If we have an asterisk, it will find zero or more repeats of the character that follows it. Okay. So for instance, grep and then AB star will match anything that has AB and then any number of Bs after that. Okay. So it will match um, A Actually, it will say any number, so zero or more. So it will match anything, anything with an A, but then anything with um, any number of Bs after it. Okay, so let's actually try something a little more interesting here. Um, let's try, 
something like EV star. Well, probably not going to find too many multiple Vs. Um, let me see something. How about DIF star? We'll find anything with, whoops, ah, by the way, I did this right now. I forgot to type the file name, and now I'm in here like, what's going on? Uh, if you ever get stuck in a program like this, hit the control, hold down control and type C, and it will break out of the file. Okay, so let's do this with the correct unit testing file there. And what did I do? I said DIF and not any number of Fs after that, right? So here's DIFF, okay, in this line, let's see, where's the DIF here? Uh, or sorry, DI and any number of Fs. So like in this one, do we have any D, there's the DIF, here's, how about this one? D, there we go, DI and then any number of Fs after that. Well, zero is any number, so DI, any number of Fs after that. Okay, so you can use, uh, often we see it uh, used with a, we see them used together, the period and the asterisk, like something like this. Grep for, um, let's say, uh, oh, I don't know, C-O-N, and then dot, star, and then S, right? So what this means is it will match C-O-N, and then any number of any character, zero or more, and then an S, right? So if I do that, and do that in unit testing, right, it will find that. So let's see, C-O-N, C-O-N, and then any number of characters until there's an S right there. So it's matching that, for instance. In fact, it's actually matching that because it's what we call a greedy match, and it matches all the way to uh, the last possible uh, thing that it can on a particular line. Okay, so uh, so you can test all the things you want um, uh, using unit testing or any other file, and uh, you should practice using grep uh, in uh, to find various uh, things. Now, man file on grep is pretty large. It shows lots of different ways to do things. Okay, um, but for instance, there's other ones like grep, and then if I put things in brackets and I say A, B, and then uh, I don't know E like that, it will match and it will match anything that goes A, E, or anything that goes B, E like that. Forgot to do the unit testing again, and there we go. So we said A. So there's a B, E right there, right? There's another B, E right there. Uh, let's see, we said it was going to be AE, so let's see if we can find some AEs in here. Um, there's probably more, let's see, what does this one have? I don't see any Bs in this one, so is there an AE anywhere here? Let's see, du -du 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 -du. I don't see any AE in this line. Let's see, I might be missing it. Is there a B in that, BE in that one? Yes, there's a BE in that line, so that's that one. Um, there's a BE there. I think BE is more uh, likely than than other things, but um, let's see, more BEs. Maybe I didn't pick the, the best example here. Uh, lots of BEs, but uh, it would also search for or find anything that has um, an AE in it as well. So uh, so that's how we uh, do that. In fact, let's let's just see which one, just if we do just AE, then we'll find anywhere, well, there are no just AEs in that file. I guess that was a bad example. Let's try another one. Uh, AE or DE, or sorry, DE or BE. There we go. It'll find lots of ones with uh, with both of those, and there's probably some DEs in there too. Let's find out where the, the DEs are. There we go. There's lots of ones right there. Deployment environment, etc. Uh, so that's how grep works. Uh, grep is really important. If you look up regular expressions, you'll find out all the different ways to uh, do searches uh, using things like, for instance, what if I wanted to say uh, grep and then start the line. If you use an uppercase caret like that, or a caret symbol like that, and then uh, you will find all word, all, it will find all places in the file that start with you. Uh, uppercase U, like that, right? If I did the same thing with uppercase T, it would do that. You can also say, find something at the end of the file, which is the dollar sign character. So let's find all lines that end with H, right? None, 
my end with H. Uh, let's see, it looks like this file may actually have extra characters in there. Yeah, it looks like the file may have spaces at the end of it uh, too. So that's, uh, that's a little harder to find. But let's, well, let's find out what lines end with space. There we go, a whole bunch of them. Yep, a whole bunch of lines end with space. So, uh, so that's how, how grep works. And you can uh, use it to do search through files. And it is uh, a great little tool for that. Thanks.